All right, let's uh, explore the next bug, which is SQL injection get select. So here we have select an option tag where we can select uh, a movie and then click on go. It uh, searches for movie and shows the details of that movie. And they are using the ID to search for any movie. So in the URL, as you can see, the variable movie equals to 90. Let's change it to 1. As you can see, we got result, release data connection, and so on. So let's intercept this using Burst Feed. I will turn on the intercept and let's uh, send request with the ID of 1 and we got a request let's send this to repeater we can use control r so control r repeater is highlighting now here let's uh, do some uh, let's play with this uh, id so that we can see how we can inject this and what we can do using just using the id so here we got the id we can change this to anything we want and it is applied here and if i send it send request and displays the uh, result according to that let's pass some uh, course to see what going to happen if i send this and here we again got 200 let's change it to single code and if i send uh, apply that and let's send it we still got 200 let's see if we have some queries so it displays nothing so let's uh, add some uh, other code so here i have a sql uh, query use, use all uh, union all and then uh, select table schema we are again uh, selecting the uh, database tables and displaying just one because it displays just one record in the in the in the html view in the table so we are using limit one and offset is also one so uh, let's uh, and we are using the select schema table schema and table name name and the all other fields are null from the information schema which is database and the tables we are showing there so let's apply this and send request and see what we are getting so we got 200 let's uh, render this and we got nothing let's uh, change something let's add quotes double quotes at the end let's send this record again and still we got 200 let's so uh, to render the page and by the way for uh, this bwf if you are using it locally you can uh, see in your terminal so to what's to see what's going on you can use your terminal as you can see here the the request are uh, can be seen here so we are sending get requests again and again and here we got some errors as well we are because we are using some bad uh, we are sending some bad queries to the database that's why it shows the errors so let's uh, remove the double quotes let's change this to double quotes and to see what is going to happen and still we got 200 and we got nothing let's remove the quotes and you will have to uh, practice this more and change the values to see what results you are getting so i remove the quotes and we still we got 200 and let's see if it displays some yeah and yes it displays the character set uh, the table name so let's change uh, limit and offset uh, offset is one let's change it to two to see some other values some other table names we can see so it is loading and if we check as you can see we got 200 you can see the result uh, here and as well as in the render page so we got the collation table and you can change this to let's change this to six we are getting the sixth offset number from the information schema the tables uh, database table so let's and still we got 200 and let's render this to see what results again we are getting and we got engines so you can uh, if this is some sort of real website you can uh, create automatic script that will uh, show all the data tables but uh, in this case it is just displaying one result at a time so as you can see we are passing the id uh, it is uh, one in this case so we are using id to see the table so here we got uh, piles let's change it to nine and this, uh, these uh, tables are from information schema data table, so it displays all, I guess. So we are just displaying the information schema and table names. Again, we got global status. Let's change the limit to two to see what uh, result they are getting to us, giving to us. Uh, let's and still we got 200. Let's render and still we uh, got global status. So you can change the values. You can change these null uh, values. You can practice along with this and here you can see we got a lot of uh, some bad uh, scripts errors and some success as you can see they are showing the status 200 and this is also 200 but it is in red case so this means there is some error with that